Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of Fenty and by full face I mean as much as I possibly can. I do have quite a lot of their products so um, I'm going to try. Yeah, shall I just show you what I have? So I have their foundation, the hydrating foundation. I used to have the soft matte but then after that finish I bought the hydrating but I want the soft matte again because I just realised I think I prefer it. Um, I really really like that foundation. I have two concealers, one in 390 and one in 345. I have the banana setting powder, I have cocoa naughty, the bronzer. This is almost finished, like I really loved this. I have two of the snap shadows, number three and number four. A cream blush, daiquiri dip. I have a, what's this called again? Slip shine lipstick, vamps who branch. Okay, let's get into it. So, about my brows like I always do. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of 345 to, no, that's a lie. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of 390 to conceal my brows. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, how's life, man? I just feel like this world is just scary. And I don't know what the future holds for anyone. Of course, we in general don't know what the future holds, but it's just very scary. These fires going on and COVID getting worse, places having to go back into lockdown. It's just very scary. And it's about to be winter in the UK. First of all, let's just discuss how incompetent, disgusting and deplorable this Tory government is. I mean, we've all been new We've all been new, but it's like they've hit new lows. And when they say, when people say there is a lack of leadership in number 10, you, do you think I'm joking? There is a lack, a severe lack of leadership. They have every issue that the government have had to deal with in the last couple of months. They have dealt with it wrong. Look at the way they handled the A-level crisis with this stupid um, predicted grade thing. Look at how they've handled COVID with the lockdown. They're telling people, imagine, first of all, if Boris Johnson had gone into lockdown earlier, sorry, let me get on with what I'm doing. So this is basically gonna be a full face of Fenty with a rant. <laughs> so I've just, done my brows, concealed them in the concealer and then set them with brow gel and now I'm going to do a bit of foundation. I'm using the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the shade 400. Uh, I'm just going to use my Redacted foundation brush. I'm not going to say what brand it is because you, you're not going to go and buy it anyway because we don't buy from brands like that. Brands that don't care about us. I'm just going to dot a bit because I don't think it's necessary. It's like this area of my face that's more the problem area. Oh. And then this area will be concealed anyway. We don't want to use too much products because the more you use, the more cakey it will be. When you're wearing a mask, it will shift it because there's more product. And in general, on me anyway, it will. the more I wear, the more cakey it looks. Because after a while, it starts to break down, doesn't it? So yeah, we're just going to blend out now. Concentrating it on the lower half of the face. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so first of all, when the whole outbreak happened, can you imagine? We had companies, companies, we had countries like Italy, Spain, who, you know, are similar to us in that, you know, the, maybe not exactly population wise, because Spain has a much larger population than us, but France. Just countries that, in general, we compare ourselves to, they're in a similar part of the world, the population is quite similar, not necessarily in size, but just the way the population is. And we had time. We saw how the countries handled it. We saw how quickly their rates went up, what they did to try and, you know, keep the rate down, how they did these lockdowns and blah, blah, blah. We saw how they did them. And it's not like it was just one country. There were multiple countries that we could have looked at as like a case study and said, right, look at how they've handled it and look at the effect that that's having. 
what have they done wrong and what can we change or modify to improve have they gone into lockdown quick enough if they haven't what's the effect on the trajectory of um the r rate and you know how many people are being infected but like i said there's no leadership in number 10 boris johnson delayed going into lockdown even knowing it doesn't make sense we went into lockdown with 100 cases with a a virus that is spreading exponentially do you know what 100 cases is I'm saying this to you guys as if you guys don't all know. Like, we all know. We all know. This is something you can Google, you know, like, exponential growth or something. And, but you have literally the government's SAGE or whatever they are, the, the, the scientific advisory group. I don't know whether they had advised the government to go into lockdown or they were the ones that were like, um, no, let's just not go into lockdown, delay, delay, and then the government was following them. I'm not sure. But all I know is that a lot of them are incompetent. Because SAGE, yeah, you're the government's advisory group, but when something's happening like this, you need to hold the government accountable. I'm sure if SAGE were on the news saying, putting pressure on the government saying you need to go into lockdown now, we've told, we've said that blah, 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 this is the advice, surely the government would have done it earlier. But the fact that they didn't, you are held responsible too. Okay, next I'm going to use 390 as my base concealer because I do this all the time. So I put 390 down and then I blend it out and then I go on top with a lighter um concealer but i'm just going to do them both at the same time rather than do it one by one because there's no point so we have the government going into lockdown late knowing you know despite seeing what the virus is doing to other countries in europe and across the world and then the government had you know finally announced the lockdown late like i said However, the lockdown is not strict enough. I remember us seeing, like, on the TL, on the Twitter, us seeing these video clips of mayors in Italy literally, like, insulting people, shouting at people, swearing at people. Why the hell are you leaving your house? Go back into your... Like, being really, like... <laughs> Because they know the impact. They know what is what the effect of these people not following lockdown rules and you know a couple people going outside and all of this for reasons that aren't essential. They know the effect that that would have had. So they were being really, really harsh on people. And we, I mean, we were all laughing on Twitter, but it's true. Why the hell are you leaving your house? And why does it take a government official in a suit standing there swearing at you for you to listen? Like, do you not understand people are dying? Yet the government in this country were basically allowing people, like, doing this whole, oh, you can exercise for one hour a day, all this. Bro, when you say stuff like that, I'm not saying that they should have told everyone you're not allowed to leave your house and you lock the doors and have police patrols in the streets. But when you say things like that, you already know people, the law is the law, right? Or when you have certain, like, regulations, even when they're strict, people try and bend them. So when you have regulations that are lax, what are people going to do with that? People were going outside. I remember people were going outside and, you know, pretend that like, they'll say, oh, yeah, I'm exercising, like, I'm doing my one hour daily exercise. Well, they're going to meet their friend. This was at the point where, you know, we're about to hit the peak. Can you imagine? I'm going to go into my bronzer next. Yeah, so I'm using Coco Naughty and I'm just going to bronze. Obviously, Coco Naughty isn't... I like it. It's like a subtle bronzer, but not subtle where you don't see it. You can definitely see the difference. They started to say, announce that lockdown regulations were going to be relaxed. Why are you relaxing lockdown regulations? At the same time, that countries who had hit the peak 
weeks before us are relaxing their regulations. I was so confused. Like, I'm pretty sure when Spain started relaxing theirs, that's when we had announced we were gonna, like it was very close in time to when other European countries are relaxing their regulations. Which makes no sense because there are weeks ahead of us. Why are you relaxing? You've gone into lockdown later than other countries and then you've come out of it earlier. I said, I said, I'm not going outside. You guys can go outside if you want, but I'm not going outside because do you expect the rate isn't down enough that you can be, you know, not guaranteed, but you can be com confident that if you go out, it's not going to start if there's a party in one town or city that's not going to start another wave i mean look at what happened in i think it was south korea that one woman who i think they called her like patient x or patient something that one woman who went to somewhere she had gone out she had the virus and she had gone out and done her activities yeah. but she was one of these like super spreaders so she had come into contact with a lot of people and she they traced another uh, like a re outbreak happening because of her if you can't get to a point where you can you know almost guarantee or be be sure that that's not going to happen if one person who has the virus is able to spread it around and cause another outbreak then why are you re relaxing the regulations are you normal? No. Oh, and then I'm gonna also take the the bronzer down my nose a little bit. So then there was that. Then the government started going on and on about eat out to help out. How we're gonna have the eat out to help out scheme, which is gonna help like basically inject business money back into um, fast like businesses restaurants and stuff like that so now people are feeling even more like and then on top of this at this time i'm pretty sure they had stopped uh publishing the uh death rate and rate of infection on the news because they used to do it every day mm. really depressed. that was thing was really depressing because everyone used to watch it all the time mm. i know it was depressing but at the end of the day maybe it was something that was needed because it was still letting people know that people are dying from this thing and you need to be serious you need to get your wits about you because people are literally dying but then they when they stopped doing it it gave people this false sense of security as if like oh so we're fine they're kind of like out of the clear so this eat out to help out thing happened and all of a sudden all of a sudden there is a boom of people mm -hmm. going out and stuff like that and bear in mind, it's not as if like people who were going out were breaking regulations or they were being stupid or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, your whole if your government, we've been locked up for how many months, right? And yes, we know our government, there's no leadership, they're very incompetent. Can you come and kill yourself? Really? Really? Because we, we, we know that people, experts and all this were talking about the effects of covid and the lockdown on people's mental health and how serious it would be people being isolated suicide rates were going to go up all of this and then you have your government telling you oh 50 percent off at every restaurant that you want in the country are you going to say to your mates who are saying guys let's go out we haven't seen each other in six months are you going to say no to your friends no you're not realistically you're not so people are going out you know going to these restaurants and taking advantage of eat out to help out and at this time businesses like shops and stuff had opened and then in the same week i'm pretty sure the same week that eat out to help out was announced you get um the government also talking about how obesity mm -hmm. needs to be tackled in this country and blah 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 and i'm just thinking what you're saying and what you're doing doesn't add up it's not aligning because you're talking about obesity and blah 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 first of all the way to tackle obesity is not to just say people are obese and it's bad that does nothing and it puts blame on those people rather than the systems that are in place that lead to people being unhealthy if that's what you want to talk about you need to go into schools and teach kids from young and again the focus shouldn't be on do all these things so you don't be obese because that's not the problem here. When we do PE, we're doing it for fun. 
we're doing it to you know character building and to improve your skills in a certain sport and learn how to work as a team not to lose weight this is the thing we need to shift the focus anyway i'm i'm going on a bit of a tangent here but it doesn't make sense oh, in one hand you're in the same week you're saying 50 percent off all food and i'm sure there were everybody when you like typically you would go out to eat maybe once a week or something with your friends or what, whatever and now if you eat out to help out you're going out three times monday tuesday wednesday because that's when it was happening monday tuesday wednesday every week for the whole of august because you wanted to get your money's worth is that not gonna cause you to put on weight anyway so then that's happening people are going out and you know coming into contact with people and all of that shops are talking about and then social distancing at the same time the government's going on and on people are not social distancing anymore people are go you know you're in the shop and somebody's breathing down your neck and you're thinking i thought there was a virus going around and then you get things like i was hearing stuff like um social distancing was relaxed like it's not two meters anymore it's one meter and i'm just like what make it three make it five make it four <laughs> but they were reducing it and then there was the whole thing, the whole confusing thing about bubbles and you can meet with another household and all this rubbish. Just along the way, when the rules have been coming out and regulations, blah, 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 the government have not been clear and people are confused. Okay, guys, so I've just been setting with the... I've really been... I've just been setting with the hydrating... Sorry, with the powder. Now I'm going to start on the eyes. So I'm going to look, have a look at these snap shadows and decide what look I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with this shade in the middle that is Spice Trip. That one. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. Just starting here, building up there and then taking it across like that and blending it out. Yeah, so, so there was a whole confusing thing about bubbles and you can't, you can't meet actually bubbles came later i think i think it was you can't meet with more than one household and stuff like that and now people are confused because it felt like at this point it felt like there was no restriction you can go and meet anyone do you know what i mean as long as you know you haven't you haven't got any symptoms they don't have any symptoms but then obviously you can be asymptomatic and then as it was getting closer and closer to school time, now everyone's in a panic because it's like, how the hell are you gonna get kids, school children, to social distance, wearing masks? And then there was the whole thing about whether or not kids were gonna have to wear masks in school. And in the end, they decided that they have to wear masks in the corridors, but not in the classroom. And it's kind of like, do you know really how close you sit? See? My school, my school, you literally have to take it off in assembly when you're sitting this close to someone, literally. Okay, the line's a bit dark, but I'm just going to work quickly because you can still see me, right? Um, yeah, so you have... And can you imagine what happens in a school like this dark brown that is called No Fudge Given? So, like, think about school children and you know when you went to school how you would interact with your classmates right on a daily basis so i've started um putting on this light shade this light pink shade it's called sleep sleepover and at first i didn't like how it looks but at the end of the day i'm gonna have lashes on just bought this light shade here because i don't know apparently it looks good on some people right now i don't know if this thing looks good but what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject some colour because it looks very cold and I don't like cold looks. And I'm going to go into Little Miss, that bright pink there. And I'm just going to put it like in between the smoky part and the really light part just to... Uh, it's just, this eye look just... I'm not sure if there's any flavour here. So I think I'm going to try and add like a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to go for Diva Fever, which is this shade. Just because it's more glittery and I hope that means it's not adding too much pigment. Yeah, that's much better. So this is just more glittery. And it's not necessarily changing the colour too much. Actually, no, it has changed the colour and it looks much nicer. Now I'm going to go into that dark shade again and I'm going to try and like wing it out and add a tiny bit of a wing here and just make it a bit more smoky. Okay. 
Okay, guys, um, I just put my ring light on because that's really bright. So now I'm just going to put my lashes on. I'm using... Do Fenty have lashes? They don't, do they? Mm -mm. I'm using my favourite lashes of all time. Fabulash by i.lashx on Instagram. Really good quality. I'm going to use the Slide On Glide On in Urban Cafe next. now I'm going to use my Vamsu brunch. I haven't used, got enough use of this, but when I saw this thing, I said, yeah, this is beautiful. Just look at it. Do you have problems or something? Are you crazy? Oh my gosh. Do you have problems? This is so nice. And you can layer it up and make it darker. That's what I really like about it. It's, it's so, so juicy. Glossy. I was gonna make you on a bike. Ah! You got me. Yeah. <laughs> Look how droozy and roses. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. This is my fancy face. I do wish I had more lip products and I wish I had better eyeshadows, but it's alright. It doesn't look that bad. And I think the eyes match the lips quite nicely. So I'm not too. Oh, let me pull this thing back down again. I'm not too fussed about that, but yeah. One day, one day. This will be a sponsored video by Fenty. Period. Because I know it's happening. I know they will post me on their page very soon. Like, I feel it. It's fine. Bye. Bye.